So Frankie Edgar, bro, uh, New Jersey, is from New Jersey, isn't it? Yeah. Um, he falls under. Does, um, doesn't he train with uh, Ray Longo? Uh, Ray He's Longo, Henzo, Ray Longo, Matt Sierra, Matt Sierra all them uh, guys. What's his name? It's the other guy, uh, uh, Weidman, Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman was in their camp yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. So they're quite a few uh, yeah. good, good. They got uh, Matt Sierra uh, was his, is he his coach or is it? No, Ray, I think Ray, Ray Longo. Ray Longo. Yeah, yeah. and then um, Alderman Sterling is from there. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. from the same camp. So, if you guys don't remember Frank Edgar, um, you've probably seen him recently. He's he's lost a few fights recently. Has he retired, bro? I don't know if he's, he's reti- still fighting. He's still fighting. I don't know if he's retired. Is he? And Frank Edgar retired. Bro, look all the scar tissue around the eyes, bro. After that knockout, boy, I think he's taking some time off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got knocked out by uh, Brandon um, Vera. Vera, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, last fight, Chito Vera, good fighter. <coughs> so Frankie. Frankie Edgar, if you actually watch, when I first watched Frankie Edgar, the things that used to strike strike me back. So what I look at is as well, imagine watching 50 fights and everyone fights the same. Yeah. It's boring. Yeah. When someone comes and brings something different. So Frankie Edgar, I remember when he used to fight, he had beautiful footwork. So he used to slide around the, I don't know if you remember him. He used to bounce yeah. and slide around around the around the cage. Um, good head movement and a tank. Oh my days! The guy used to keep going. Also, what he was also known for was his chin. Yeah. Recently, unfortunately, he has he's been getting knocked out. But the guy had a really good chin. Didn't you um, train with him? You trained with yeah, him, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. What was he yeah. like to train with, man? Yeah, he was good, man. It was good. These guys are lovely, like yeah. guys, kind of thing. So these, as in, what were, did you spar with him? I didn't get to spar with him. No, we were just in the same. Uh, same we were in the same, same camp. Yeah, whatever, same camp yeah. kind of yeah. thing. So he was spar. He was he was there. Um, I think he was sparring with with Justin Gaethje. I, thi- uh, I think Justin Gaethje sparring. We done a, we done grappling that day. Was it what, when was it, when you when you guys went to Vegas? in two thousand nineteen? Yeah, Vegas. Yeah, yeah, in Vegas. Yeah. So we had like uh, Frank Edgar was there, um, Justin Gaethje. Trevor Whitman was there. You had um, the Olympia, um, what's his name, Mike, Michael Madsen. Oh, the Danish the Olymp- guy. The, yeah, yeah, Olympian. Yeah. You had uh, Khalid Taha, like Zeta, Ottoman Zeta. You had um, Aaron Pico was there. Pico, the wrestler? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's an MMA fighter as well. Yeah, 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 yeah fighter. Yeah. Very, very good fighter. I think he fought, he's going to fight today. Or, to, or Yeah, today. It's better tours on today, isn't it? I think there's a better tour show today. So these, 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 if you, if so, with Frank Edgar, so if you're, if you're watching Frank Edgar, really look out for his footwork, beautiful footwork, head work, uh, head movement, also his skill against the wall. If he was one of the first people I used to see chain up wrestling on the wall. You know, like before it became yeah. a thing of how to fight on the cage, I used to see him pin people and he used to do these little, little beautiful, like, um, what's it called, like a knee slide? Where you double leg someone and then you pop out the other side and just pop it through the oh, hole, so, yeah, and yeah. you kind of turn turn him and get him off the cage, and then he'll grind and pound from there and stuff. So he he was he was very entertaining to watch. So these are like these guys, um, you can learn a lot from it. So even if you go watch it now, and these early fights, guys who are coming in MMA, go and watch these guys because these guys are these these guys you can learn a lot from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I just wanted to ask a bit about the wall work. Yeah. Because obviously, like, before cage fighting, mm. there was pride, right? Yeah. You had, they were in the, the ropes. ring. Yeah, they were in the ropes. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, did you ever fight MMA in, in, in a boxing room? No. <laughs> I fought <laughs> in a park. <laughs> did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but obviously the cage... There was no rules in that park. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> no referee <laughs> even, bro. <laughs> but like when the cage was, obviously, because MMA existed b- before the cage. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think that was the first, uh, you got pride and... Yeah, yeah, yeah the, Valetudo, bro. The Valetudo, all, yeah, that, all stuff, that stuff, yeah. yeah. Back in the day. So obviously the cage came in when, I think UFC were the first guys to put it in the cage, yeah. right? Yeah, Or was it, there was one before that, right? There was this other one. No, no, it must have been during the same time. There was um, these, these wild ones, bro. They used to do an Indian reservations, bro. Okay. But anyway, so... I don't know if you saw the early fights. Yeah. Um, Where he's hanging on. Who? People are hanging on. Yeah, yeah. Thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not talking about U- okay, UFC 1 and stuff. So, talk to us about the evolution of that wall fighting because, again, it's 
it's quite unconventional, bro. Using like if you look at it, fighting before the cage, yeah, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, when do you, what do you think happened in the, in the chain room, training room when like it's new, isn't it? Yeah. So MMA is new. So that's become a whole because I know you've got a whole syllabus around yeah. wall fighting, bro. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've got a whole syllabus. Because exactly. It, it, what happened was when we when you was fight. So again, lot of, uh, for example, we done uh, headquarters position with. Jude. Jude yeah, yeah. Samuels. Shout out to Jude Samuels. That's it. Um, recently. And I remember that wasn't a position. It was just open guard. But now, yeah. it's, now it's actually got a name. It's called headquarters position. So I think what happens with, with martial arts, it, it's constantly evolving. So if you're fighting in the cage all the time, you've got this, you, you kind of get this re- um, thing that happens all the time where you get pinned up against the wall. And when you get pinned up against the wall, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Three minutes that you're getting stuck against the wall. How do you fight from here now? So someone's obviously taken time. Those data guys yeah. looked at it and said, okay, three minutes to get the cage. We need to learn how to fight off the wall. So what are the rules as well, bro? Because you're so not going to obviously grab the cage. You can't grab the cage. That's what, it. Uh, rules in what? what? Against the wall, bro. Yeah, you can't grab, you can't grab the cage. That's yeah. it. That's the yeah. only yeah. rule. Okay. Yeah. Right. You can't grab the cage. So even even with the, um, the wall rules and stuff, it's basically, I think when a lot of the wrestlers came into it, the Greco guys. So uh, I'll tell you another guy that was good at this was um, Randy Couture. Oh, yes. He said, put his underhooks and just ground and pound, and then yeah. pound people from there. Yeah, so, so from one side and one just side, yeah. so put him up. Underhook, yeah, grab yeah. the wrist and then smash them. And then just keep that head control position stuff. So this, you, so th- these guys were very, very good. And I think they... See, that's why... How comes Ryan de Couture is going in top five? Or? I, I said to you... If there was a top ten, would he so be in there? Because I said, stylistically, yeah. I like... I was, we're not we're not talking about um, on record or yeah. like no, guys... your specific I'm style. just looking at stylistically. The guys who I think... Who I, I like to watch, I think they're... Um, if, especially guys who are practicing MMA and stuff, it's actually... Good, they, they're good... They're good guys that you can learn from rather than just watch fight and say, okay, oh, he knocked the other guy out. Yeah. I, I, I don't like watching fights just for that. I like watching, okay, there's a bit more technical thing. I can take that out so I can go in the gym and try it at Imran. <laughs> so, okay, well, what uh, what was your favourite Frankie Edgar fight, if you can pick one? Grey Maynard. When he fought Grey Maynard, uh, all the trilogy fights, they were so good. So what was it about those fights? Like? Um, he was he was like an underdog, bro. Grey Maynard was like a solid dude. Yeah. Um, bro, bring up Grey Maynard, bro. Bang, banged him bang Frankie Edgar in the first round. He got dropped three, four times in the first round, in the first fight. Yeah. And then he just kept coming back, kept coming back. Zach, type in um, Gray Maynard versus Frankie Edgar, bro. And just go to images, bro. Because I'm pretty sure I saw one of those fights. Yeah, I don't, 100%. I'm pretty it's sure. He's one of the classics, though. Yeah. It's one of the classics, because it's like... Um, and he fights at 155, isn't it? Or 145. He fought both, right? Because he fought... He, he, kept, he went up and down, in it? So I can't remember exactly what weight category he fought at. Yeah, Grey Maynard, I'm pretty sure I saw one of those fights. This is... Oof. Scroll down, bro. Is it even... Grey Maynard looks... It's a young, young uh, Frankie Edgar, bro. Scroll down. Oh, it was a title holder as well. Yeah, yeah. I forgot, bro. Yeah. Really, really good, really, really good fights. And these are kind of... It's, it's, it's a shame that they get forgotten, the, 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 these type of fights. Because they're, f- they're, so, they're so good. You know, since you mentioned... Uh, what's it? Um, Randy Couture. Yeah. It's sh- he doesn't get talked about at all, bro. That's what I'm saying. Because he's got, it's cause he he's had got beef. beef. He had beef with him, didn't it? He had a massive beef, actually. Yeah, yeah there a was massive some, beef. Because uh, he went to get released or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that, bro. Yeah. Like, and it's a oh, shame. He, I think he went to box. I Is it? Something happened. I think he didn't he want to get released and he went to box. I'm not sure, bro. Yeah. But I know, he had, I know he had like some sort of... and I don't know if he's... I'm pretty sure he's in the Hall of Fame or whatever, but... Yeah. But that's what I said. I got, like, we can go into... Like, if you go into even the early days... You, you would have to throw in Hoyce Gracie in there. Yeah. yeah. Because, bruv, one of the originals of but MMA. But did he fight MMA properly, though? Yeah. You like, were saying it. Like he's, he's no, I'm not talking about the early stages. Did he have, actually go into with MMA gloves? and? He did when he fought Matt Hughes. Okay, and right. And Matt Hughes um, beat him. But that was, he was much older than right, stuff. Right, 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 right. But it was like, uh, if you look at him early days, and I think... Okay, he's a pioneer, bro. Yeah. Bruv, yeah. Er, you're, everyone's doing... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that was that's what he wanted to do. I mean, I think they, they proved, didn't it? Yeah, that's what he, that's what they wanted to yeah. do, bro. And yeah. now it's a, probably going to be a billion dollar business soon, bro. Crazy. crazy, man, crazy. 
Yeah, so um, what else? Anything else on the Do you want to go for his um, attributes? Because you said uh, striking out of five, wrestling out of five, jiu jitsu out of five. Yeah, so um, his, his, his wrestling definitely, um, I would have given it um, a four or five out there. His um, jiu jitsu, maybe two or three. Kind of thing, not. But he's a black belt, isn't it? Yeah, but again, it's like but MMA jiu-jitsu. MMA jiu-jitsu. Yeah. It's enough to think, enough to get through. Has he even got any subs, bro? I don't think. Zach, pull up his record, Zach, again. I, th- I don't think I've ever. S- yeah, four. He's got four subs, bro. What are they? Uh, go down, Zach. Scroll down a little bit. Does it show you what sub? Yeah, it does. What do you get? Tell you. Uh, oh, he fought Sanhagen. Yeah, that's got, that guy's a f- nightmare, he got, bro. He got knocked out by Sandigan. Did he uh, get knocked out by Sandigan? Uh, go up. There he goes. The second one, bro, Zach. Oh, Sandigan lost. No, he won. Oh, Sandigan won. Yeah. TKO. Yeah. TKO. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Got knocked out. Zach, go up and click submissions. Just click it. Maybe they, they'll take you to the yeah. No, nothing. Doesn't mm. say. Okay. And how many knockouts? So thirteen by decision, six, six knockouts. He was just, he, he 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 was uh, he was one of the first he guys I used to watch, and I thought this guy's got a serious like you know that like wrestling engine. Yeah. And he had a good he had a good engine. He could and he could he could bang with people. But um, the main thing was he never used to stood still when he used to fight. So yeah. he was always moving. And obviously, when we teach wrestling and stuff yeah. or anything, when you as soon as you stand still, it's like an easy target. And because he was moving all the time. He was able to produce a lot of, uh, like you know, openings again. Yeah. So it, it was good. It was he, he was good fire. Um, his wall, his wall, his wall level skill work level was good. Four, five, very good. And he's striking. Striking, yeah. Four, uh, I'd, I'd say four. Striking four. Does he kick, bro? Or not? No, not really kick. He's Mostly more boxing, hands, but just boxing, like that, uh, the footwork. The footwork was nice. That was good to good to see. 